Welcome to today's lecture on the topic of tracheomalacia. Tracheomalacia is a condition characterized by the abnormal collapse of the trachea during breathing, leading to respiratory difficulties. Throughout this lecture, we will discuss various aspects of tracheomalacia, including its anatomy, embryological development, pathophysiology, classification, diagnostic modalities, differential diagnosis, management strategies, complications, genetic syndromes associated with tracheomalacia, adult onset tracheomalacia, emerging therapeutic approaches, and the importance of multidisciplinary care. So let's dive into the fascinating world of tracheomalacia. The trachea, or windpipe, is a vital part of the respiratory system. It has C-shaped cartilaginous rings that help it stay open, and a mucosa lining that helps clear mucus. Understanding its anatomy is important for understanding tracheomalacia. During fetal development, the trachea derives from the foregut, specifically the endodermal lining. The process begins with the formation of a ventral diverticulum called the tracheal bud, which arises from the ventral wall of the primitive foregut. The tracheal bud elongates and bifurcates into the two primary bronchi, ultimately giving rise to the trachea. Any disruptions or abnormalities during embryological development can lead to various anatomical abnormalities, including tracheomalacia. In this topic, we will explore the intricate process of tracheal development and its potential implications. Tracheomalacia is primarily characterized by the weakening of the tracheal cartilaginous rings, leading to inadequate structural support. This weakening can result from abnormalities in the composition and integrity of the cartilage, such as reduced glycosaminoglycan content or alterations in elastic fiber density. Another contributing factor to tracheomalacia includes the abnormal balance between tracheal wall resistance and luminal pressure, potentially resulting in airflow obstruction. Understanding the underlying mechanisms involved in tracheomalacia is essential for effective diagnosis and management. Tracheomalacia is categorized based on severity, location, and cause. One commonly used system is sacred, which classifies it into types 1, 2, and 3. Other systems consider the underlying cause. These classifications help with diagnosis and treatment. In order to accurately diagnose tracheomalacia, a range of diagnostic tools and techniques are utilized. Flexible bronchoscopy is the most reliable method for visualizing and evaluating the severity of tracheomalacia. Dynamic imaging techniques like fluoroscopy and CT scans can also provide valuable information. Pulmonary function tests, such as spirometry and flow volume loops, help assess the functional impact of tracheomalacia. It is important to be familiar with these diagnostic modalities for an accurate evaluation of tracheomalacia. Tracheomalacia shares certain symptoms with other conditions, making its differential diagnosis essential. One such condition is laryngomalacia, which involves the collapse of the supraglottic structures during inspiration rather than the trachea. Differentiating tracheomalacia from subglottic stenosis, another potential cause of respiratory distress, is also crucial in guiding appropriate management strategies. Additionally, vascular rings, although rare, can present with similar symptoms as tracheomalacia. Recognizing the distinguishing features between these conditions is vital for accurate diagnosis and targeted therapy. The management of tracheomalacia requires a multidisciplinary approach. Conservative measures such as positioning techniques, respiratory physiotherapy, and medical management aim to alleviate symptoms and optimize respiratory function. However, severe cases may require surgical interventions like tracheostomy for airway stabilization or tracheal stenting to provide structural support. Understanding the different management options and their indications is paramount for tailoring treatment plans to the specific needs of each patient. Tracheomalacia can give rise to various complications, including recurrent respiratory tract infections, chronic aspiration, respiratory distress, and failure to thrive in infants. Prompt identification and appropriate management are essential in preventing the progression of these complications. The long-term prognosis largely depends on the severity of tracheomalacia and the presence of any concomitant conditions. In this topic, we will delve into the potential complications and prognosis associated with tracheomalacia. Tracheomalacia can be associated with certain genetic syndromes, such as Down syndrome or 22Q11.2 deletion syndrome. These syndromes often exhibit a higher prevalence of tracheomalacia due to abnormalities or developmental defects in the trachea. Recognizing the relationship between tracheomalacia and genetic syndromes is crucial for appropriate management and genetic counseling. While tracheomalacia is often seen in pediatric patients, it can also manifest in adults. Adult onset tracheomalacia may result from various factors, including chronic inflammation, iatrogenic causes, or degenerative changes in the tracheal cartilage. Diagnosing tracheomalacia in adults can be challenging, as it may be masked by comorbidities or mistaken for other respiratory conditions. Understanding the unique etiology, 
diagnostic challenges, and management strategies for adult-onset tracheomalacia is critical for providing optimal care. Advances in tissue engineering and regenerative medicine have opened up new possibilities for the treatment of tracheomalacia. Ongoing research explores innovative therapeutic approaches, such as the use of biomaterials, tissue grafts, or stem cells, to enhance tracheal structural integrity and function. Understanding the current state of research and potential future developments in the management of tracheomalacia is crucial for staying at the forefront of medical knowledge. Given the complex nature of tracheomalacia, a multidisciplinary approach involving otolaryngologists, pulmonologists, pediatricians, speech therapists, and other healthcare professionals is essential for optimal patient care. Collaboration and coordination among different specialties ensure a comprehensive evaluation, personalized treatment plans, and long-term monitoring. Recognizing the importance of multidisciplinary care will contribute to better outcomes for individuals with tracheomalacia. Tracheomalacia is a complex condition involving the airway that requires a thorough understanding of its anatomy, development, and management. Collaboration among healthcare professionals is crucial in improving patient outcomes.